Okay, this is the setup. Let's go. Attack buff and then piercing dagger. Hi guys, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So I have finally finished building my Carl and I gave it a very very high crit damage build. Well, high for my account because I know that many of you guys saw Genesis Prime's videos and he has an insane, insane fatal set that has a lot of crit damage and an insane raid set that has a whole lot of crit damage, like 300, right? But I don't have that kind of room quality, so this is high for me. And you can see that their crit rate is kind of low, but I don't really care because Carl skill 3 always crits. I don't know if you guys saw my past video where I said that Carcanos will need to be built in a different way now because the Carl has been buffed and I believe that he's going to be a good counter for these Carcano defenses so you guys now need to make Carcano much tankier and I want to see if yeah I want to see if my Carcano could survive my Carl that has one of my best crit damage sets so I have most of his skills fully skilled up you can see he has all the damage stuff that he needs what we really care about is only the skill 3 because I'm gonna see that if it could kill my Carcano Turn one. This is gonna be a short one, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's see if my Carcano can survive my Carl. So before we go in, before we actually do the do the test, I'm gonna change my runes on my Carcano a little. Well, not change. I'm gonna take off one artifact, which is taking less damage from Dark by 21%. So I'm gonna remove this, and now let's go test it out. Let's see first if Carl could do it without an attack lead. So let's take his, let's take in a offense like this. But guys, this is this offense is not really gonna work because my Konomiya is slower than the Iris. So they're actually gonna outspeed, so we could get stunned. And if that happens, we'll have to redo it. But let's just hope that it doesn't stun. The Iris, let's hope that the Iris fails to stun and see if we can move first. So keep in mind that the Carcano does not have that artifact right now that's taking less damage from Dark. So yep, she failed to stun, so my Columbia goes next. And skill 3, let's go. Piercing Dagger. 29k and it still failed, failed to kill. And then there you go. Okay, so we failed to kill it. However, I think maybe it's possible if we take an attack lead. So let's do that again, but take in... A attack lead how about we try the best attack lead in guild content which is the bail we're only using him for the lead so let's go right in okay this is the setup let's go attack buff and then piercing dagger 31k so even with the 44% attack lead we can't kill it that is not what I expected. I expected my Carl to kill this unit. So what? Well, maybe Carl... So Carl did what? 29k without the bail lead. Let's see how much it does after we give Carcano back that artifact. We'll take in the same 44 lead. And I'm pretty sure most people are not going to do this. Unless they're really, really confident on their booster speed, like 310, so, or, or a little over 300, sorry, if that's an Iris. If it's a Vigor, I think they must they have to be really confident without a speed lead to come in with only the booster. But anyways, let's go right in and see if we get the best setup. Let's see how much damage we do now with that artifact in place. Okay. Here it goes. Piercing Dagger. 25k 25k wow 25k at least for my carcano it's carl proof most likely their carl needs to hit really 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 hard to kill my carcano my carl could do 31 30 31k right with the bail lead if they don't have an artifact that takes less damage from dark and well the Carcano does also have another crit artifact that's taking less crit damage by 
but that's kind of that's kind of small. So really, let's say my Carlos doing like 32k damage with the bail lead, and without the bail lead is like 30k to 29 29k. So that would be able to kill most Carcanos out there if they're not built on 30k HP and it does not have crit damage, you know, damage reducing artifacts. But at least my Carcano, I think it is safe to say that it's Carl proof. So let's test it here. Let's test that same defense here. I'm sorry, same, let's test the same offense here and see if it survives. And I'll show you the runes because this Carcano is on a crit damage build as you see right here. So I'm go right in. We actually even might outspeed because I think his Vigor is pretty slow. But it doesn't matter if the Vigor goes first and puts up the crit resist buff because skill 3 always crits. Okay. We'll see it right here. Skill 3. 36k and he's gone. See? This is how this defense will be countered with the Carl. If you don't build it on a tanky build. We could go in with a similar offense, but without the bail and with the speed lead. So if we go like that, I think we should take first turn. Right, there you go. We give it to the Carl. Carl uses skill 3. Boom. 32k, he's dead. And then we go from there. How is this defense doing? And 5-3 defense. So you guys see that it's not a defense that's doing bad. It's doing well. However, now if you come with the car like that, one shot, and you have an advantage. I'm saying you're going to win, because usually your entire team is kind of squishy. But you see what I'm saying. But yeah, guys, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was my Carl. Again, it has one of my better raid sets. As you can see, 280 crit damage is no joke. I mean, I know a lot of high tier people have this kind of build, like nothing. But for me, it's not, it's not just laying around. I need to actually you know, look for them. I think because of the Carl, Carcanos now can't just be built on a crit damage build, especially in lower tier guilds now, because it's just super easy to one shot if they can make a 30k Carl or a 29k even. Because if you don't give it HP, it's it's rare to see a Carcano on 28, 29k HP or even over 30k like like mine does. So yeah, guys, hope this helped. Hope this showed you how Carl could destroy Carcano if it's not on speed HP HP, and you guys have to build your Carcano differently. But that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, give this video a like so that this video could be exposed to more viewers out there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.